Well, hi Aries, welcome to your general reading for April 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. Okay, so I'm going to do something brand new this month for all the monthlies. Okay, so the card I'm going to pull up first for you, Aries, has to do with a new energy, a new awareness that is coming into your life in this month of April. Okay. Ah, Blu-ray being. And this is card number one. And it says direct divine expression. Bridge between dimensions. What I'm getting is you're going to be receiving new downloads this month, Aries. And that's going to be different for all of you. Okay, so just a minute. Let me just see here. So what I'm getting is what is awakening for you Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon are parts of yourself that you weren't aware of before. You didn't know existed. And, and I'm also getting too, even uh, for some of you, the awareness that you are much more than just this uh, person here on earth and how you're living now. You are much, much more. There's way more to you and you're going to start bridging that gap is what I am, what I just got. As far as bridging the gap between this earthly life and who you truly are, where you come from. Um, you're going to have an expansion in that, a new awareness in some way. And I just got the words, you're going to reach beyond the stars. You're going to see beyond the stars. And maybe even some of you might physically be um, drawn to looking out at the stars at night. And maybe constellations or something like that. So yes, that keep doing that. Okay. Okay, so let's see. If there's anything else here. So again, this is what a new awareness I also just got to a new awareness of not just who you are, but where you belong, where you belong. And that's going to mean different things for each one of you. And a deeper purpose of what your purpose is or what your purpose is, if you don't know, if you don't know. A deeper understanding or what your soul purpose is and again too if I'm an astrologer of 25 years so if you haven't looked at your natal wheel if you've never gotten your um, astrological natal wheel done I would absolutely advise you to do that and um, look into and research all of that and specifically your north and south nodes of the moon because that is where each one of our individual purpose is our personal work is first and foremost on this earth which is how we can um, assist this healing of this earth and hiring the vibration of this earth First and foremost, that's the first thing for each one of us. Okay. And I can, if you want me to read that, my uh, your north and south nodes of the moon on a different video, uh, you can check also my past videos of the viewer requests 
for the north and south nodes of the moon because that might be one of yours. Okay. Okay, so let me get a couple of cards, uh, tarot cards, let's see, to expand this, what your, what new awareness is coming to you in April. Let's get something here. If there's anything else that can a little more details before we continue on to the other three, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. This is what I just got is whatever this new awareness that is coming into you in April, this is your Ace of Cups. This is your emotional fulfillment. This is your stability this is your um this is going to make and give you that emotional overflowing abundance for um, peaceful fulfillment um emotionally stability stability it's just overflowing not just an average it's an overflowing abundance of peace um, humility I just got, security, um, whatever that might be, but you're overflowing with it. Okay. And some of you have been possibly waiting for success. You've been, this is the seven of pentacles. And so you've been planting your, you've planted your garden and you've just been watching it and watching and waiting and you're going to see it flourish now. You're going to see the fruits of your labors. You're going to see that depth of, of new awareness, of new understanding of whatever that is in your life and, and your ex own personal expansion and, and your self-expression I'm getting to being expanded. So let me now, the second one, the second card I'm going to turn over has to do with how you are going to integrate this new awareness into your soul purpose, into your own healing, or whatever that might hold. And look at that, you've got the card of healing. The card of healing, look at that. I'm seeing that, those big... Wings as a dove, a dove, dove's wings, angel wings. And this is number six, and it says gentleness of love, realignment and transformation. Look at that. You're transforming this month of April, Aries. However you've expanded, whatever, whatever you've been doing, whatever personal work you've been doing, you are having a huge healing and expansion and transformation for yourself this month of April, and you will see it, and this will make you, oh, your Ace of Cups, you are, will be overflowing with joy, with peace, with um, abundance, security. You will see, and you will see some physical things coming into the physical that you have been manifesting or, yes, working on, bringing into the physical, you will see that. It's part of your healing. It's part of, because of all of the hard work you've been doing. You were gaining recognition, I just got for some of you too. So that's how it's integrating into you is you are transforming into a beautiful, beautiful butterfly I just got. And you're going to be able to spread your wings. Look at those wings. You're going to be able to spread your wings and fly like you've never flown before. You're going to be more freer than you have ever been. A deeper love for everything. 
because you've gained a deeper love for yourself. Deep joy, deep joy. Seeing things with that childlike, joyful, playful abundance, overflowing, overflowing. And abundance is gonna mean different for everyone, for all of you. Wow, that's really, really beautiful. Okay, so let's let let me see if there are any more tarot cards that we can get with this, how you're gonna integrate besides healing and transformation. Let's see if we can get any more details of that. You're realigning, and yes, you're just gonna have this beautiful, deeper gentle, calm, lovingness about you and about everything. And that, that of course, um, you will be receiving that back too. And maybe that's what you've been working on and you will be receiving those things back to you, showing how much you've transformed, you've grown, you've expanded your whole self and your whole life and you're going in a whole new direction. It's gonna, it's awakening you in a whole new, more way, way beautiful way. It's just a very, oh, beautiful, open, calm, loving, happy, joyful energy that I'm getting. It's just, it's just wonderful. Yes, you've been waiting. You've been waiting patiently. Oh, I've also got two as you either are or you have already, Aries. You have um, accomplished the ability to, to take a step back and to, to see a different perspective from a higher viewpoint. And that's one of the things that you have, have accomplished. And it's enabled you to see, again, you're, you're able to see or you have been able to or you will be able to in April, see a higher perspective. And so you're going to see things or you have seen things in a whole new light in, in a different way in, so that a whole new world opens up to you. New opportunities, new, just new everything I'm seeing. And some of you have been waiting because you have, have again, seeded your garden and it's been growing, but now, and you've gained that higher perspective. And so you've like been just waiting and watching and observing like an owl with that new wisdom that you have, that new perspective, and just waiting and watching to see what new things transform for you. And you're going to see that in April and you're going to be very pleased, very pleased. And I'm just getting to, you are going to, um, just a minute here. You're going into new waters. It's what I'm getting. Um, sailing in new waters calmer waters, again, more expansive, more beautiful waters for you, where you're going to be so joyful. And it's, it's just a, an adventure, a beautiful, beautiful, positive, happy adventure for you. Okay. And now the third card is going to tell me what, what, how, how and what you are going to express this into the world, this new energy that you were, will be receiving or you've just started receiving into the world and sharing this with others so that they can also benefit. Lemurian Shaman. Wow, okay, some of you through this transformation period here, you're going to be able, your teachers, 
And this is, this is number seven. And it says, shadow dissolving in gaze of truth. So Aries, you have either been doing this or you're starting this journey I just got for some of you in April, seeing, seeing through into the truth. So going beyond that veil, and, and I'm getting that a lot of you, that's what you've been doing. You've been, um, and this has been part of your healing and your transformation um, into the deeper realms of yourself, of the cosmos, of whatever it is. But seeking beyond that, uh, okay, what I'm seeing is, is a curtain opening up. And you have been going through that. Um, opening up that curtain and seeing through what is what you can see with your eyes or a person can see with their eyes the non-truth and you've been opening up that curtain is opened opened up to you and that's how you've been able to seek beyond that curtain into the truth of yourself up to the world or all of that and healing yourself going beyond that fear going beyond your own personal fear so your personal work I'm getting to for some of you south and north nodes of the moon and initiation you're going to be sharing that whatever you personally learned teaching that sharing that passing that information on to others in some form You've gained a lot of wisdom, Aries. And that's also enabled you to have a full cup, an emotional cup, calm, peaceful, a new perspective, a higher perspective. A different way, a better way, a more harmonious way, compromising way, compassionate way of seeing things, seeing whatever situation that is, personal or out in the world, non-personal with others. It, it doesn't matter, but you are seeing things on a completely higher level, more compassionate level. Very beautiful. Okay, let me show you that shaman card. All that green and that, again, green is, is healing. So you've been doing a lot of healing, or you will continue and complete the healing in April here, starting tomorrow, in fact. And just, just by your, also your new energy, your expanded energy, your higher frequency energy, however you want to look at that, you are touching people just just by you being you. Just by you being you. It's assisting them as well in doing their own transformation. And number seven might be essential. It's a very spiritual number, and you might want to look that up if that sounds right for you. Wow, that is beautiful. Aries. Oh, I love that. I love that. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. Okay, so let's take and see any more details of this, how you're going to be sharing that with others. Exactly how. And I just got, well, you might start a YouTube channel or another, you know, platform, another type of platform on the internet or a personal, some type of Personal healing modality is what I just got for some of you. Very, what I'm getting through is the energy is very spiritual. It's, it's very, very spiritual and has everything to do with this Aquarian age and assisting others in, um, I'm getting, leaving their past traumas behind, healing their inner selves, their inner child, their um, letting go of the old paradigm of this 
Piscean age, which that's the old paradigm. Piscean age, all of that deceit, the lies, the fantasies, which fantasy is good in certain arenas, absolutely. And creativity was awesome, but bringing the creativity and all that was the positive that was gained in the Piscean age and leaving all of the negative to higher truth, opening that up, all that secrecy, because Pisces is subconscious secrets and um, uh, we're easily deceived in the Piscean age, which we were. You're, you, that's how you are assisting others in moving. So you're somehow assisting in their healing, personal healing, and part of healing is knowing the truth, the root truth of who we truly are beyond the lies that we've been taught. So anyway, okay, let's see what else for Aries. Give some more details on how you're going to, they're going to share this new awareness, this new energy with the world. Okay, let's see. What else? Let's see another detail of that. Knight of Cups, yes. I'm getting emotional healing. You are going to give share emotional healing and it doesn't have to be in in a specific modality not at all because like i said before just just you aries being you and how you um communicate with others how you what's the word um just in your everyday life um strangers and, and family members, friends, however it is, just you being you will assist them in their healing, will assist them in, in striving for that higher vibration and seeing things in, in another way, in a new way, being, because you're, you're just, the way you are is more loving, more open and honest and and it's going to hit everyone that you meet in a very personal and assist them in opening up their, their heart, their own doors, their loving emotional, their emotions too, so that they can deal with those emotions that, that they haven't been able to deal with, that they had locked in deep inside that has them stuck. And I just got to maybe some of you through astrology. Maybe some um, will be talking about astrology to others. I don't, I don't know, but I just got that. So bravo and good for you. But however that is, good for you. And blessings to all of you, Aries. But you're coming through, yes, a very strong. And the Knight of Cups is, he's very strong he has his protection he he knows how to protect himself and he knows where he's going and he has a message he has a message and it's on an emotional level a very spiritual emotional level and that's where it will reach others your message aries very beautiful and some of you might benefit from uh, just, just drawn to the ocean in the background of the night. The ocean, you might gain energy from that or some somehow the ocean could be significant for some of you, Aries. Okay. So is there anything else for Aries? Any, anything else that I need to tell Aries? Sun, moon, rising, north or south winds of the moon for this April. What's coming to them? What's happening for all Aries? Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Okay, so let's get, you know what, let's get an astrology card. Let's see what 
astrological energies are surrounding Aries this month of April 2021 here. All right. All right. Okay, so what energies, astrological energies, are surrounding Aries, sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon for April? Okay. Aries. Oh, look at that. South node. Aries. South nodes. So, like I said, if you haven't yet, if you don't know your north and south nodes of the moon, if you've never gotten your natal wheel done, oh, I absolutely strongly, especially this coming out, that is telling me, do it. April is the month. And if you've already been doing it, which I'm sure some of you have been congratulations you are going to have a breakthrough with this south node doing your south nodal work working through that properly working through that that personal work that is very very beautiful and it's going to put you on a new path there you go look at that path and that's what all of us, if you've never, ever, if you don't know what your north and south nodes are, it's, it's essential for each and every one of us in order to, to be able to take care of that. We have to bring that out in the open first. So I, again, I can't, I cannot urge you strong enough to, to find out what your north and south nodes of the moon are. And if you have no idea, take a look. I will have that in the drop down box below exactly how to do that. And I can do that. I don't have to. You can get your natal will done free online by any astrologer. And it, it will show your north and south nodes of the moon. And if you'd like me to read your north and south nodes of the moon, I would be happy to from a book that I still feel I have not found and it's out of print now. Karmic Astrology for Martin Schulman. That's the book I use. That is the best one that I know of for the North and South Nodes of the Moon. Okay. That is that is very beautiful. That is very beautiful. Okay, so let me do one last. Let's get one, one card from this deck. Just a final inspirational card for Aries for April. Okay. What is inspirational card for them? Endless possibilities. Oh, and it's number 38. And that 38, that adds up to be an 11. Magical. If you don't know what 11 means, you might want to look that up. But look at that beautiful card. That is absolutely correct. Endless possibilities, Aries. Starting for you, April, tomorrow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I just got the words, the stars are aligned for you, Aries. Wow. And again, I got the picture of looking up into the stars, into the night sky. So that could be significant for someone or some of you. Maybe that is interesting you or maybe that will interest you this month. I'm not sure, but... That's a that's the second time I got that message. Constellations. Maybe maybe you're gonna find out. But those of you that are interested in knowing where your star families are, where you come from, maybe you don't come from this earth, and you're gonna find out more details about that this month. Or maybe you have just recently, and you're further investigating that for some of you. Okay, what else? Let's get one more 
inspirational card for Aries for this general reading for April. Oh, these are also beautiful cards. Abundance. What a great final confirmation. Aries, abundance this month of April. And happy birthday to all of you, Sun, Aries, or if you already had your birthday in March or it's coming up, happy birthday. Have a great, great birthday. All right. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, so you watch for abundance coming your way and endless possibilities. That is your new life opening up to you, Aries. Okay, in this month of April, you have a beautiful, beautiful April. Until next time.